Yep, that's me, Ellie Haynes, your most perfect 17-year-old high school senior who has the perfect grades, the perfect boyfriend, the perfect friends, and the perfect family. Yeah, no, I wish, but let me tell you the reality. So ever since my mom died in a tragic car accident a few years ago, I've been diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and all kinds of eating disorders. I struggle with self-image and self-worth. That's why I never wore my glasses in public, but instead I wear contacts. And as you can see here, wait for it. Yeah, I suck at putting them in, but I'm far from perfect and so are they. So welcome to my life. Hey, what's up? Hey babe, where are you? Hi, sorry, I just now woke up. Well, hurry up. Okay, I'll be there as fast as I can. Bye. Love you. Yeah, love you. So what's for breakfast, Dad? Biscuits and gravy, and I might make you all some pancakes, if you're good. Ah, uh, yes, I love pancakes. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, honey. Good morning, sissy. Hi, sissy. Daddy's making pancakes. Mmm, yum. And biscuits and gravy. Would you like some, honey? Oh, uh, no thanks, Dad. I think I'm gonna just grab a juice today. Well, okay, honey, suit yourself. Oh, I guess we get to have all the pancakes. Oh, yeah. Well, Dad, I guess I'll be heading to school now. Okay, honey, have a good day. And I have the night shift tonight, so don't forget it. You heard that right. My father would work the night shift so that during the day, he can take care of my brothers. At night, while I'm not at school, he goes to work and I take care of my brothers. It works perfectly, but I would still rather have my mom here. But we all know that can't happen. Alright, bye guys. I'll see you tonight. Bye, honey. Welcome to Posford High, where I literally only have two friends. This is Lexi, and this is Emma, my two bestest friends. Hey, look, there she comes. Hey girls, sorry I'm late. It's fine girl. I love your bow, it's so fire. Thanks. So have you all seen my boyfriend anywhere? Oh, he's over there with my boyfriend. Oh, okay. He was just calling me this morning, asking me to hurry up, and it's just weird seeing him over there not even caring. Oh, you know how men are. I wouldn't let it stress you out. I guess. She's right. Don't let it stress you out. You guys are so good together. <laughs> well, that's the bell. I'll see you guys later. Bye. See you at lunch. So you ready to go to class? Oh, I have to get my textbook out of my locker. You can just go on ahead and I'll meet you there. Sure, girl. Yeah, man, I'll see you later. I think my girl's already gone. All right, see you, man. All right, babe, well, I'm ahead of class. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> okay, bye, baby. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head to class, too. Fine, Eliza, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. Time to head to class. Ow! Ugh, I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. Yeah, it's fine. fine. Ew. Ew! Ew, it's you. The one and only. I think you broke my nail. Oh, poor baby.
That's Angel Hilton, known as the popular girl slash mean girl who always has a tampon stuck up her butt 24-7. We used to be good friends back in freshman year, but she changed and so did I, and that tampon just kept getting farther and farther and farther. Hello, Earth the Freak. Huh? What? Did you even listen to a word I said? Half of the time I ever do, so no. <sighs> Stay out of my way, you filthy freaking mutt. <sighs> Ugh. Oh no, I'm late. All right, class. So today we're gonna be talking about Mrs. Haynes. Hi, I'm. I'm sorry, I'm late. Um, do I need to go to the office and get? No, Miss Haynes. Don't worry about it. Just have a seat. I'm just about to start the lesson. Okay, thanks. As I was saying. This semester we'll be reading two books. The first one being um, Of Mice and Men, and it has a ton of chapters. Which oh, means a lot uh, of hi there. I, I, I believe you're in my, each um, chapter. Each chapter will have a seat. Uh, we so have assigned seats in this class, and that's and mine. So, you look new, so you probably don't know, but, um, Miss Haynes, may you please have a seat now? Oh, uh, I, I would, but uh, he's in my assigned seat, sir. I know, I need to fix the assigned seat chart. Can you please sit in the front seat up here? Oh, uh, sure thing. Thank you. Now, as I was saying- Hey, sorry, I was late. It's fine, where were you? Oh, you know, just Angel starting things again? I know, right? I think she's obsessed with me or something. Yeah, for sure. So, who's that guy in my seat? Oh, you mean him? Yes, him. His name's Mason. His schedule got changed today. Supposedly, he got kicked out of his last class. <laughs> what a charmer. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Miss Haynes. Y yeah? Please stop being disruptive. I'm trying to teach a lesson and you're supposed to be paying attention. Sorry, sir. Pay attention. We got a test next week. Now, as I was saying... Again, those are the two books we'll you will read this semester, so please turn to page 298 and we will get started reading on Moby Dick. So, is that all you know about that guy? Yeah, pretty much. His name's Mason, and he gets kicked out of class. It's pretty good. Ugh, I don't even know who you guys are talking about. He's some guy who joined our class today, and he was sitting in her assigned seat. Ugh, Lexi... Oh, come on, Emma deserves the right to know. Yeah, so who does this guy even look like? Is he even in here? Um, he's over there. Hmm, he looks familiar. Familiar? Did you have a class with him? I don't remember. Or did you see him at a party? Have you been going to parties again? Yes, I have. Girl, if your parents even catch you at a party. I know, I know. But what's a little fun gonna hurt? You know I don't only drink at the party, right? I dance, I meet new friends, you drink. Ah, <gasps> do you smoke pot? No, Lexi. Oh, I want to. Can I go sometime with you? <sighs> Fine. I'll let you know when I find the next available party. Yes. Anyways, back to the mystery dude. You should invite him over here. What? He's sitting by himself. He looks lonely. I don't know. He looks intimidating. Is it the necklace or the two piercings in his ear? It's mostly the vibes he gives off. Well, still, you should totally ask him. No way. My boyfriend would kill me. Where's your boyfriend anyways? It looks like he's over there. What? He's sitting with Angel? Oh, Aunt Eliza. She's so pretty. Oh, you have a crush. What? No. Pfft. No. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, the fresh smell of bisexual. Shut up. <laughs> Why is he sitting over there? Probably hanging out with Parker. Where's your boyfriend? Uh, oh look, there he comes. Hey babe, what's up? Oh, nothing. We're just talking about Lexi's bisexuality, that her boyfriend is sitting with Parker, and the new guy. The new guy? We have a new guy? Yeah, his name's Mason. He's over there. And what about him? He took over Ellie's seat this morning, so I told her to invite him over here, but she's too scared. Don't you dare do that. What? Why? He's 
bad news. Why is he even in your class? He got swapped with some other class because he supposedly got kicked out. Oh yeah, he got in some fight with some other kid. Do you know who? It's actually your boyfriend he got in a fight with. Excuse me? I'm just telling you the truth. When did this happen? Uh, yesterday, I think. Is that why he hasn't been talking to me? I guess, I don't know. Oh boy. Look, Mason is not any good. All he ever does is throw parties, get drunk, and sleeps with way too many women. Um, babe? It's the truth, babe. I'm serious. Okay, but he's looking at you. Oh shit. Look, man, I didn't mean it. I just. It's fine, but do me a favor. What? Keep my name out of your mouth. Got it. Yeah, sure. I heard you like to go to parties. Bro, that's my girl. Can you chill? I'm not taking your girl. Okay. You should come to mine this Friday night, 9 p.m. Oh, um, okay. You all come too. Oh, yay, I've never been invited to a party before. I'll see you all around.